Hi Big Tractor Power fans, this video comes to you from a freshly harvested cornfield located in western Kentucky, where a 600 horsepower Challenger MT-875E track tractor and 34 foot wide Wishick 862 NT disc equipped with 30 inch blades are working on fall tillage preparing the ground to sow winter wheat. During this video, I would like to take viewers on a ride in the tractor's cab. We'll visit with the farmer, my friend Billy, about the machinery's performance. But first, let's take a look at this tractor's production history, specifications, and price tag. The MT-875E was manufactured by Agco in Jackson, Minnesota for a model year 2014 through model year 2020. The tractor working in this video is a 2019 machine. The MT-875E was the largest tractor available from Agco during this time period. It's powered by a 16.8 liter Agco Power V12 1025 cubic inch engine rated at 600 engine horsepower, 425 PTO horsepower, and can achieve 646 horsepower when the tractor encounters tough field conditions it needs to power through. The tractor is equipped with a Caterpillar full power shift transmission with 16 forward in four reverse speeds. It can achieve a top speed of 24.6 miles per hour. The MT-875E is fitted with a 330-gallon diesel fuel tank and a 30.5-gallon diesel emission fluid tank for clean engine solutions. The tractor rolled off the assembly line weighing in at 42,546 pounds and can be field weighted up to 55,913 pounds. The original price tag for this tractor when it was new was $519,460. Wishig discs are manufactured in Wapiton, North Dakota. The company was founded in 1969 and acquired by Will Rich in 2006. Will Rich and Wishick were acquired by Vaterstad in 2021. The 34-foot model 862 NT that you see working in this video is fitted with 30-inch blades spaced at 13 inches apart. The disc weighs in at 37,711 pounds and the manufacturer recommends 12 to 16 horsepower per foot. The blades on this disc have a downforce pressure of 1,080 pounds compared to other 34-foot discs on the market that only come with 22 to 24-inch blades that offer 286 pounds of downforce. The Wishick is a monster in the field. The 862NT is available in sizes from 14 to 39 feet, and the 34-foot model has a price tag of $102,000. I'm up in the cab of the Challenger MT-875E tractor and the tractor is working with a 34 foot wide wishing disc today working on fall tillage uh, getting this corn stubble turned under to plant winter wheat and I'm up in the cab here with Billy and we're running at just about six miles. Well, forward. we'll be faster if we just climb that big hill. All right, we'll see what it can jump up to. Uh, that's about where we're going. Yeah. Here. So we're just just a little under seven miles per hour, and it's a um, good smooth riding tractor. Uh, Billy, you've been running the Challenger tractor since 2006. They're pretty nice with the track system and pull you through where you need to and give you a lot of traction out in the field. It does. Of course, I really I like the how easy it is to get in and out. It rides really good. I mean, the, the, we run four track systems. They're really a great tractor. So they all, you know, they all work good. You're, uh, this will be the last year for the, the yellow model. You're gonna be changing over to the, the Fent next year with the CBT transmission? That's correct. But hopefully, they, they, it's maybe the end of this month or First of November, it should be here. I really, I, I used one. That, that transmission sure was nice. Well, it'll definitely be great to see it back out in the field again and see what it can do. As we uh, 
come up here to the, the headland, we can see Billy doesn't have to steer the tractor. Uh, it's on auto guidance. And as we approach the turnaround point, the tractor will signal that it's time to turn around and make the next 34 foot pass on auto guidance. It definitely spins right around in its footprint. It doesn't take much to loop around. So you've uh, you've been running these Wishing discs uh, since 2003. They're pretty impressive to watch going through the stalks and tall See, grass. Look at residue we got right here. The amount of residue on the ground. It's, uh, it does a great job of uh, you know, covering a lot of residue. So what what made you choose the the Wishick disc in the first place? What got your attention with it, or how'd you find out about them? I was I went to uh, Wisconsin uh, to pick up a corn planter or, at a, or deliver one, excuse me, one of my used twenty four rows, and a guy had one, and he was had just cleared the woods, and he was out there disking with the Wishick. And these wishings have springs on their games. And I saw him jump a 12 inch log and the frame never moved. The, the gang went up and went over and he was bearing, you know, a lot of trash. Of uh, this kind of residue, you'd have to disc it two or three times to, to bear this residue with like a sunflower disc or lands or land all or these with it. Uh, 30 inch blade and 13 inch spacing, they, they can cover a lot of residue. It reminds me of watching a moldboard plow out there just running a lot faster and wider. Well, you see how much dirt's kicking up behind. It, uh, and this is tremendous residue right here. It's, I'd say this is, the way well, we're in a low spot, it was cut, it probably was a good 300 bushel corn right here. Now the field didn't average that, but what we had right now would. I think our average was 240 or 245 on this farm. That's still a lot of, a lot of plant material though. A lot of plant, it sure was. Planted at, uh, at about 35,000. So how, how deep are you uh, running the 30 inch blades to get the cover that you're looking for to chop these We're stalks five up. or six inches of true depth. That's a 30 inch blade and you can see it's I'm about oh, probably four or five inches from the spool on the disc. It's uh, it moves some dirt. So definitely works up a good clean looking seed bed for sure. Never, I've never had a, uh, another disc that would uh, cover the residue like this one uh, before. And uh, once I saw that, I had to try it, and it really worked well. So we we bought several of them since then. We can see a couple of the other ones out here running in the field uh, today. And Look up the front window, you can see that first pass, how much it's uh, worked under the corn, and it's going to make a good uh, seed bed for winter. There's a wide track over there and one over here. Both are pulling 30, 40 foot wishing. performance as we're coming across these stalks.
even though it's we're running six eight six seven mile an hour and uh i'm throwing a lot of dirt there but it it does a beautiful job of leveling across there There's yeah two it doesn't right have there. the the ridges like an offset disc would leave no and i know some people always get worried about a plow pan or hard but you, you will want it a little harder under there so when you're combining wheat if it's a little wet out there you're not well, running spraying up the field. Is good we don't seem to have a uh, issue with compaction on our wheat now. Of course, this will be planted in wheat and then soybeans. We'll harvest the soybeans and then we're going to rip it with a inline or a V ripper with uh, narrow shanks on it. Um, so we break that compaction back up. But I, I am setting a what they call a plow pan under here, but it doesn't seem to matter on the on the wheat or soybeans. Right. So a year from now, when the beans are coming off this field, then that's when you'll subsoil it. That's correct. And that's a good uh, tillage rotation. That's right. And like um, sprayer ruts, I mean, we, we run over that wheat six, seven times with a sprayer, and it's very difficult not to have that you're making some when you're, you're out there when you don't really want to be, but you need to be because of the the condition of the uh, plant or the stage the plant is in needs to either have nitrogen put on it or spray the weed spray and so it seems like every year we have some areas that we have to spray on the wet side well, uh, which is a good way to erase those ruts <laughs> right If we look at the area that's been harvested, we can see this residue here. It's thick, lots of leaves, lots of material, and the stalks are tough. You can see that root ball there. There's a um, lot to work under, and the wishet just completely turns us over like a rototiller in the garden. It's nice and loose, good soil, and it's ready to have winter wheat planted out here on the field. Here we can see the wishick coming across the field. There's a low spot here that's drowned out where the corn did not grow. There's a lot of tall, thick weeds, and we're gonna see what it looks like as it plows right through here. Here's a spot where the field drowned out and corn could not grow. There's a lot of tall, thick weeds. And we're gonna see the Wishig disc cruise right through here. You can see the wishing just absolutely erases all that weed growth. Those weeds are tall and thick, 
and now you've got a seed bed ready for some winter wheat to be planted into. I hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field with this Challenger MT-875E track tractor and Wishick 862 NT disc. I'd like to hear in the comment section below the video what type of tractor and tillage implement you're running on your farm to prepare the seedbed for next year's crop. If you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there are over 2,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you would like to see additional tillage content from the channel, continue to watch the video for a few more seconds of the end screen to a direct link of more Big Tractor Power YouTube videos. As always, thank you for watching.